Hey, hey everyone. Oh, well, no, no. You, you take it. No, <laughs> you got it, Randy. You guys are fighting already. We <laughs> are, yeah. Hey, Nathan Lowe's here, the uh, Indie Dog Whisperer, and we're thrilled to have you here, oh, Nathan. You. We're going to have a, an interesting interview coming up in yeah. a few minutes yes, here. very interesting. But first of all, we're going to talk about newborns and pets, right? Yes, and dogs in specific. Okay. Yes, mm. it, it's, you know, a lot of my clients, when they call, they'll, they're will they expecting their first especially, and they'll say, we just want to know how to set this up properly so that sure. the dog and the child, how do we do this? Um, the first thing to keep in mind is that parental stress can actually cause the dog to begin building this threat assessment feeling. Mm -hmm. So I had a client one time that called me, their dog started chewing their door frames off, they were expecting their first. Mm -hmm. Their stress had rubbed off on the dog and the dog had really? started chewing door frames. Oh. So oh, I man. gave them the tools they needed so that they could know, okay, this is how we handle this. So the question comes up, well, how do you handle it? First of all, the things that people think are so cute, like the dog laying its head on top of the baby, the dog sitting on the baby's blanket, you actually don't want that. Mm. And this is why. Because while that looks cute to you, that's actually possessive behavior from the dog. And when they begin possessing the baby, what will happen is when right they, there. oh, yeah, there's, there's your, and this is, um, this is George's little guy with Charlie, I believe, is the name of the dog. Right, George? George's yeah. off camera, but trying okay. to get the right information here. Huh. So, so the question would come up with something like that, is that okay? And George asked, you know, we were talking about that in the office earlier. Well, it depends. If George said to his dog, hey, Charlie, move, and, and Charlie said, hey, I'm out of here, we're fine. But if Charlie lifted his lip at George, we'd know Charlie had claimed the baby, and now we have yeah. another issue going yeah, on. It's a big issue. It's a, it is a big issue. When you first bring your newborn home, when you're first introducing an infant or a child, to your dog, the first thing is to claim your infant as your puppy, just like they would do if they oh, okay. had puppies. You run them off. And people think, oh, it's so mean. No, the dog needs to know, ah, that's their puppy. I have to show deference now to this baby. I can't just crash the space, sit on top of it without a warning, without getting run off. Then once they start showing the deference, we can allow them in. Is there jealousy there on part of the dog, too, maybe? Or? Okay, I, I think Caesar is actually, oh, okay. is actually ready to go here. So. Okay. And Caesar has a new show. This is, I believe, season three of Caesar Milan, Better Human, Better Dog. And we are going to chat with him now. Caesar, are you there? I am here. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Amazing. I'm very excited today. People get to see 12 new episodes. That's right. Season three. Excited for it. I just I saw the media preview um, the other day. It was amazing the just beautiful cinematography as well beyond the content so Caesar one thing that I have always wanted to thank you I have been training since 06 training dogs and I have a segment here that I had done called the indie dog whisper and I get to meet the dog whisper and tell you thank you because when I was first starting your insights into dog psychology and understanding the way that they move and what it means helped me immensely and I've been able to help hundreds of people because of some of those foundational things I learned from you so thank you my pleasure. Thank you. Appreciate it. So we were talking just a moment ago and wanted to get your insights on this. A lot of my clients call me related to how do I introduce my newborn to my dog? I want them to get along. I want the dog. I want the love. I want what do we do? So I, I have a protocol I put them on, but we want to hear from you. What would you advise new parents who are nervous, which is the first problem, as we know, <laughs> nervous about the baby coming in? What would you tell them practically are the first steps? Well, to acknowledge that, right, uh, the nervousness, obviously there is no trust. And so that is something that happened before the baby uh, arrived. Um, that is something that, that shows or tells me, you know, the human hasn't worked on trust, respect, love in that order. And, you know, I always talk about that. And, and so num number two, you know, once you acknowledge, you know, your, 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 your energy, your nervousness, uh, the, the best thing we can do is when we're introducing such a gentle, uh, part of our uh, humanity, you know, being a baby, silence, calmness, distance. And that allows a dog, it's like social distance. Social distance represents in the animal world respect. Silence is how you want, how you can read things better. And calmness is how you want the dog to treat the baby, which is calm and respectful. And the silence would allow you to see, to feel, to hear everything much better. Because a lot of times people like to use too much sounds. Like, look at the baby. That's your brother. Da, 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 da. That just creates the wrong interaction, the wrong introdu introduction, right? And so very, very important for people to know to take it back to the much, much simpler, more natural way of being. And the dog uh, would, uh, would understand what's, what's required because they know, you know, that, that how, to, how, to, how to respect 
uh, gentle uh, stages of life. Absolutely. And, and one thing that I tell my clients as well is that dog needs to know that's your puppy. That's your human puppy. So when you come in, you need to let the dog know, hey, easy, this is mine. Don't need to use a bunch of words. But by using the proper body language with the dog, standing in front, letting the dog know easy, the dog learns, hey, i got to show some deference to this infant because this belongs to a member of my pack. So I need to be careful in the space. Go ahead, unless you're going to say yep. something. Uh, you know, when, when, uh, when, a female, when a female dog gives birth, she introduces her puppies with social distance and calmness and respect. Not because the dad, you know, is the dad. He, she also requires from the father of the puppies to be calm, to be respectful, to be gentle. Right. So so they know how to do it. And so if you request that same ritual that they do among each other, they're going to know what to do. You're not teaching anything new. You're just triggering a, a, a DNA behavior. Absolutely. And then uh, the rest is just piece of cake. <laughs> That's right. Caesar, thank you so much. We're really excited about your show. Really excited to see this upcoming third season. Thank you for all you do for the dog community, for people and for bringing harmony between dogs and people. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Have a great day. Oh, how interesting. Right. I could have listened to that all day long. Right? Yeah. I have a dog. I don't have a baby yet, but helpful tips. Yes. And energy, what he's saying about energy is so critical. But then, obviously, he only has a limited amount of time. That next portion, though, that I teach is, is that first thing. Like, we talked about nervousness. That's the first thing, calmness, like he said, calmness. Mm -hmm. Then you have to learn to posture properly to say, easy coming you can't crash the baby's space you can't uh but most people talk the dog into be nice be nice this your brother okay no good good no we don't want any of that like he said okay. we want calm and we want body language so ah this is randy's wife There's with my wife you explain well grandma there with our newborn uh grandson wesley he's about a month old and this is right after he was born and that is uh Beluga. Hmm. Beluga is a great thing. It looks like a big Beluga whale, Beluga. Is, <laughs> yeah. Beluga is blind and deaf. Oh, and, uh, okay. So we have to be careful. And you can see Beluga's checking mm -hmm. out. Was that proper, Nathan, for him to do that? As long, see, as long as you've established claim position with the baby one time by standing in front of the crib and yeah. motioning her back, then if she approaches carefully, we can monitor that. As long as she knows you are monitoring that, okay. yeah, she'll be fine. And Beluga cannot see or cannot hear. So oh, she can't no, see. Can't it's see by smell. It's by smell. Okay. So. But she still knows, as a dog, yep. they're hypersensitive. She still knows proximity by how strong the scent gets yes. as she approaches. Yes. So you still need to send her the same signal. Maybe a tiny tap on the That's what we do. chest and say, hey, back. Yeah, they, they can't have, make noises. They, but. Yeah, they have hand signals yes, for the dog. That's right. That's 